hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel for those who don't know me my name is naninga and we have already started our makeup basically and we are starting off with our brows and what i'm applying right now is the rimmel eyebrow mascara and it's a clear mascara for the eyebrows and then i'm going to go in with the usual culprits um which is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and this is the shade Fawn. I've applied it just to define my eyebrows and then what I'm applying on my um, eyelids there is the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer and I just mixed in a little bit of yellow in there and I'm just applying it all over my eyelid just to act as an eyeshadow base and then after we've gotten our eye eyeshadow base I'm just going to take that dark brown um, color and I'm just going I really love that dark brown color for the outer corner of my eye especially where i just want to create a gradient effect and i'm just going to tap that in just basically in the outer corner of the eye just above the eyelid also but just the outer corner only and after tapping that in because this is like a sunset look i'm just going to go in and blend that out thoroughly <music> After blending that out, we are just going to take an orange shade and we're also going to use that uh, to blend the area further just to create a gradient effect. And then after the orange shade, we are going to take a yellow shade and just apply it right next to the eyebrow where you can see me applying. And we are also going to blend that in. So make sure that these three colors are blended into each other. The brown is blending into the orange and the orange is blending into the yellow. That way you don't have like uh, patches of color, but you have like a really nice gradient effect and then next we are going to cut our crease and i'm just using the nyx uh, concealer to do this and i'm just dabbing it you know you create the outline first of where you want our, your cut crease to go and then you fill in that outline with the um, concealer as you can see this nyx concealer is really really good it's really opaque and whether you're using a black or whatever color you can actually just apply it on top of it and then after that i'm just going to take more of the dark brown and i'm just going to dab it in the outer corner of that cut crease after taking the dark brown we are going to use the same same shades we used um, initially so first it's the dark brown and then we are going to go in with the orange and after you you know when you're applying that orange make sure you like blend it into the brown so you can just apply it first and then blend it afterwards but i'm just going to apply the colors first make sure that i've applied all the three colors which is the brown the orange and the yellow but in this case it looks kind of green so this is like a greenish yellow but it i thought it was yellow actually but it turns out it's like a neon color so it looks different on the camera than in real life and then after that we are going to blend those colors into each other make sure that they are thoroughly blended otherwise it will look the way it looks right now which is not very pleasant to look at and then for my lower eyelid i'm just going to apply the dark brown color and then after applying the dark brown color on my lower lid i'm going to do an eyeliner as i always say a cut crease looks very very weird without eyeliner for some reason so i've just done a black eyeliner created a wing using a black eyeliner and then after that we're just going to do our skin prep because we didn't prep our skin at the beginning and now i'm just going to like apply a primer uh, all over my face and then afterwards we are going to do like some concealer and the reason i'm doing this is because i just want to hide any dark spots that are already existing on my skin make sure that i have a flawless base at the end of this makeup application so i'm just using this same illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade phone and then after applying it on all the dark spots and dark areas i'm just going to dab that in with a little brush and make sure that everything is nice and even and then that's when i'll do my foundation which i'm mixing these two foundations the l'oreal too much foundation I'm, I'm using it for the consistency i love the consistency of the too much unfortunately it's not my actual shade it's a bit too cool for me and then i'm going to mix it with the, the uh, clinic even better 
foundation in the shade pecan which i always tell you guys is really really warm toned so that the l'oreal too much that i have is too cool toned and the clinique even better that i have is too warm toned so at least it they neutralize each other to create sort of a shade that i can work with and as you can see that looks really good on my skin and then next we are going to apply this nyx hd concealer and i'm just going to use it um to brighten my under eyes and also on the bridge of my nose and to remove any shadows that i have above and below my lips and i'm just going to dab that in with a brush and after dabbing in with a brush i'm not going to leave it like that i have to go in with a beauty blender because i know that the blush the brush sorry the brush will not do a perfect job so i normally do the brush first and then i go in with a beauty blender and i think that usually works really really well so after doing all that i think we are going to dab in a little bit of setting powder and i'm just using the maybelline fit me setting powder in the shade cappuccino that is just what i'm going to dab in under my eyes like to set all that concealer that i had put on my face and then now we're gonna do our lips and for this case ugh, i really miss my black pencil sometimes when i just remember that i had a black pencil and i used a brown one i want to cry but anyway brown is best so i've just applied the brown pencil all over my lips and then i'm blending it in with that um pink maybelline sensational lipstick so that is the uh keep it mellow it's the shade keep it mellow as i always say that shade is horrible if i don't blend it in with another um lipstick because of my skin tone it does look a bit weird or by itself that's why i always opt to use either a black pencil or a brown pencil and then i've topped that up with some lip oil from makeup revolution and then i'm just going to dab in finally my setting powder by black opal i love that setting powder and it's usually the shade dark or medium it's medium yes and then i'm going to do a slight nose contour and then after doing the nose contour i think i will definitely do a little bit of blush but for the nose contour i normally just dab in uh, using a beauty blender just to you know eliminate excess product and then i dab on top with some powder and then now we're just applying the blush and as you can see it's a very nice warm blush because i i think this look requires something warm not really cool and then after that i'm going to go in with my usual highlighter which is the nyx high glass highlighter and that's the shade golden hour i love this highlighter it's always the one i use i don't know when it finishes thank god highlighters don't end really fast but it's just one of those highlighters that just makes you look flawless like you just glow without looking like you've actually applied highlighter then i've just applied a little bit of bronzer and i'm just going to you know make sure that the bronzer is settled in nicely around my face and i think we are through so this is the final look